You may remember the incredible story of Anthony Ray Hinton, a man who spent nearly 30 years on death row in Alabama for crimes he did not commit. He was released in 2015 when all charges related to two murders were dropped. Hinton turned his life story into a best-selling book. Now he's out with a young reader's version of The Sun Does Shine, aimed at 10 to 14-year-olds. He hopes his life will provide important lessons of hope to young people. Ray Hinton joins us right now. Good morning, Ray. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, and you? Good, good. Now, you were last year in 2018 when Oprah picked your book for her book club. What have you been up to since? Oh, I've been blessed to travel around to various state uh, colleges and share my story of injustice as well as trying to uh, find a way to uh, make the justice system more equal for everyone. We appreciate you sharing your story with us right now, but we want to share something with you, actually a video. Check it out. Mr. Hinton, or should I say Dr. Anthony Ray Hinton. Dr. Ray, so proud of you and all of the great work you're doing and so happy to see the sun does shine, shining now for young adults. Absolutely. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you the so sun much. does shine. It shines bright just like that smile. I saw a smile come over your face. Yeah. Dr. Hinton, thanks to an honorary degree. What did you think of that video? How did it make you feel? It made me feel wonderful. You know, uh, Oprah and I uh, connected uh, on honesty and love for one another and respect for one another. And I think she is one of the most fantastic ladies in the world. Uh, she didn't have to do what she did for me. And it, since the choosing my book, I'm uh, proud that she did, and I will forever be thankful to her. Well, I know, uh, doc, uh, Mr. Hinton, Dr. Hinton, it's really good to see you. Uh, I know well, Oprah has it, Oprah has deep affection for you. She's shooting in um, Georgia, and so she took time off the set to, to send you a message. But I remember when Oprah invited you and your friend Lester to her house in Hawaii, and you had been there maybe a week, and she said, do you guys want to stay longer? You said, no, i got to get on back and mow the grass. <laughs> 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 Which we thought was so funny, because most people think, you know, I'll, I'll hang out in Hawaii. But you said, no, right. i got to get on back, and the grass is growing, i got to get on back. <laughs> but I'm wondering, you've been out for a few years now. Is it still hard for you? Is there, are there things you still struggle with, or things that still surprise you even now that you're out? Uh, yes, you know, uh, Gail, to be honest with you, uh, when you spend that amount of time uh, in a five by seven for a crime that you didn't commit, uh, every time the state of Alabama or any other state uh, executes someone, uh, it comes back into play uh, what I witnessed 54 men and one woman being executed. Uh, I have to deal with when I do cut the grass, uh, I stop for whatever reason in that same spot. And I remember as though it was yesterday that the uh, day that the police came and arrested me. Uh, While you were cutting I'm the sorry. grass. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, it's funny, I've been home seven years. Uh, I lock my doors. I try to be home at a certain time. I'm caught up in this uh, scenario that if it happened once, they can make it happen again. Uh, but I try my best to be as careful and make sure that I'm around somebody that at least could give me an alibi. So wow. what I'm really saying wow. is that you never is free. Uh, mm. yeah. I have to live with this uh, by myself. And as I told you uh, when I first met you, the state of Alabama have not even offered me uh, the opportunity to see a psychiatrist or psychologist uh, mm. to talk my uh, to talk, and so uh, I have to deal with it the best way that I can. And uh, I try to smile every day. I try to be a light for those that are in darkness, and I try to not think about it. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Every day, every day, I go home. I live in the same house that I was kidnapped in, and I have to. Uh, mm at that uh, price. And so uh, wow. I can't complain and I will not complain, but I'm just stating the facts. Uh, of course. I think somebody... You know, you, you know, Mr. Hinton, it's just heartbreaking to still hear how deeply affected you are by this. And really, how could you not be deeply affected? But I'm always fascinated, despite all of this, you say you have no bitterness and that you always had hope. How 
in the world did you have no bitterness? When from the day you were arrested mowing the grass, the cops said you're going down because you're black, the jury's white, the no prosecutor's matter white. No matter what, you're going down. How do you not have bitterness? And you said uh, Alabama still has offered you nothing. Absolutely. Well, you know, I, I have, uh, from a child, I realized that I cannot afford uh, to allow the state of Alabama to take uh, what joy I have. Uh, mm. I believe that I have to move on. I believe that uh, I surround myself with good people. Uh, I have to forgive them. Um, it's forgiveness is not about uh, the other person. As I say, forgiveness is about you. And they took 30 years from me. There's nothing I can do about that. But I am determined not to give them any, any of the joy that I have. And I want to live the rest of my life whenever uh, until that day God called me. I want to be a light for people. I want to be uh, an inspiration for young people that uh, I see every day and talk to every day that don't have no hope. I won't and and what is your message to these young yeah, people? Exactly. Yeah. What is? What were you going to ask uh, him, Tony? Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, uh, Mr. Hinton, on, on to Gail's point. Yeah, what is your message? What is the one takeaway you hope young people get from this book? I, I hope young people get the fact that they have uh, a choice to make. Or uh, you can drown in your sorrow. You can drown in bitterness. I have the opportunity to go around the country, and I have to tell you, to see young people at the age of 10, 11, 12, that have no hope in their life, it's, it's heartbreaking. And I think we and the politician more than anybody have done a bad job in trying to make the next generation feel uh, where they have hope to be anything they want to be. And I want them to know that I don't think you can get in the Lord than what I was on death yeah. row for a crime that you didn't commit, sitting in a, a solitary confinement for 30 years, if I can have hold on to hope and come out and try to be the person that I know that I am inside, yes. I want them to know that they can do the same thing. And I, mm. Ray, mm. you are you are the definition of not allowing someone to dim your light because yeah. the sun does shine. We appreciate you. The Young Readers edition of The Sun Does Shine is on sale now.